Where does our water come from? Water from the sea, lakes, and ponds evaporates. Water vapor in clouds cools and falls back to the ground. We collect the rainwater for drinking. Simple. But depending where you live or the time of the year, there could be too little water or too much. And even when there's no shortage of water, there could still be a shortage of clean water. 780 million people in the world today lack access to clean water. Not long ago, that was a problem in Singapore too. With a growing population and small land area, Singapore's water problem could have gotten a lot worse. Today, the people of Singapore are fortunate to have enough water. Getting water is as simple as turning on a tap. Four taps, actually. The first source of water is the rain that falls on Singapore. Because Singapore is a small island, it's important that we collect as much rainwater as we can, instead of letting it flow into the sea. That's why we have reservoirs. Here's a pop quiz. How many reservoirs does Singapore have? 17 reservoirs. Now, if we wanted to collect the most rainwater, Singapore would be one giant reservoir. That just wouldn't work. The next best thing is to build a network of drains and canals to collect rainwater in urban areas and send it to the reservoirs. Singapore has more than 8,000 kilometers of waterways, much of it right where we live, work, and play. That's as good as having two-thirds of Singapore being one big reservoir without having to actually live on water. Phew! Singapore's second tap is water from Johor, Malaysia. Singapore has been importing water from Malaysia for many years. We've been able to reduce our reliance on imported water thanks to the third and fourth taps. The third national tap is recycled water. Singapore is one of the few countries in the world that has two separate collection systems, one for rainwater and one for used water. Used water is sent to treatment plants where it goes through a rigorous process before it is safe for drinking. We call this new water. Singapore's fourth tap is desalinated water. It's no secret that 71% of the Earth's surface is seawater. Turning that into drinking water has always been a challenge. Thanks to advancements in technology, it has become cost-effective to desalinate seawater for drinking. Singapore now has two desalination plants that can produce up to 25% of our water needs. There you have it, Singapore's water story. One country, four taps. More than 5 million consumers using 700 swimming pools of water every single day. How much more water will we need in the future? Water is precious. Every drop counts. So let's all do our part to conserve, value, and enjoy this water that we have. Thank you.